Seven batters for Lackey. We check in with Steve Gelb. Steve? Gary, I am here with the great Rusty Staub. Always fantastic to see him. He is here tonight at City Field for a fantastic cause. 32nd year he's done this, a picnic. You can see all these people in front of me all here because of Rusty. A picnic to benefit the families of, of fallen New York police department members and, and fire department members. And Rusty, uh, just explain to everybody what it is that you are able to do with these families, specifically on a day like today when you bring them out here. Well, today's their day. Uh, we've been doing this 32 years. It's a big picnic. They get to relax. This is kind of a fraternity that you never want to be in. But, you know, they share their own relationships. Uh, it's a big day for them. And uh, the kids, you know, I've, they got four generations here. You know, from when we first started, but the uh, I mean, is there a group we should try to do more for than people that give their lives up, uh, you know, to make New York City a better place? So this is how it all got started, and I uh, I'm just honored to be here. Darno sings up the singles up the middle, and you know, you said it yourself. Is there a group that's worth doing more for? So the answer is kind of self-explanatory. But what was it that got you involved in this all the way back in 1985 when you started doing these picnics? Well, I actually did have an uncle who was, uh, when he got out of the Navy in the Second World War, became a New Orleans police officer, and he was killed on his motorcycle. Uh, I remember how terrible that was in our family. And, you know, I always had an affiliation with the police, and I got to be very close friends with a guy named Patty Burns. Uh, he worked at the 19th, and I got to meet him when I was in Montreal. And we became friends, and it wound up being that uh, when this police officer was killed in the line of duty, left three kids, the oldest was five, I called him. I said, we got to do something. And it started. We had the first picnic here in 1985 in the O'Shea Stadium. And here we are 32 years later, we're still doing it. And have raised about $160 million, you were telling me, which is just incredible. How can people get involved if they want to help out? Well, uh, just look up the New York Police and Fire Widows and Children's Benefit Fund. Uh, give them a call. You know, there's we have a big dinner in uh, in October. Uh, we, uh, we we have side events all the time. Uh, we're on the internet, so I mean, you can get all kind of information you want. Uh, it's there's a really wonderful group of people who are on our board of directors and the people that work for the organization. Are so dedicated. I, I'm just. I'm honored to have started this and and being here still because I almost wasn't here for a while. Looks like from this point of view that was a foul ball. Almost almost got a fair ball there for Matts. But for Rusty, I mean, obviously this is such an incredible cause, and I know that uh, you know these families are so appreciative. We we thank you for sharing that with us. We do have to ask you one quick baseball question though because. This is the 40 year anniversary of the bird. Mark Fidrich's rookie of the year is his first season with the Detroit Tigers. And we were watching some old footage and saw you in the background there uh, 40 years ago. You played for the Tigers. What do you remember about that season? He was such a fantastic pitcher, but known just as much for his antics with how he approached the game as much as what he did on the field. Well, he was a terrific young pitcher that year. He, uh, you know, he had all those gyrations, but none of it was contrived. It was all real, just what he did. Uh, he was probably the most exciting player for the fans that I ever played with. And that's a big statement because obviously Steve was great and I played with a lot of great players. But he he brought 35,000 people to the game in Minnesota when they're averaging about 3,200. <laughs> he was one of the real special things in baseball. And it's a shame that his career was so short. Rusty, appreciate the insight into that, and more importantly, appreciate again everything you do. Thanks for a few minutes. Great people here now. Absolutely. Great people. I am with one of the great people, Rusty Staub. Let's send it back to you, Gary.